Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So in today's lecture, we will discuss about minors and cofactors. Okay. So firstly, I am writing the definition of minor. Minor of an element A i j means a minor of any element of a matrix of a determinant is the determinant obtained by Deleting its i throw, deleting its i throw, and jth column in which element a i j lies. Okay, and minor of and minor of an element a i j is denoted by m i j. Okay. So students, let us take one example to find out the minor of any element of a determinant. Okay, so I am writing here one example. Which is, the determinant is given to us like 1, 2, 3. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, and we need to find out M23 means minor of element of second row and third column, which is element 6. So, what does the definition states? Minor of an element Aij means this element in this case of a determinant is the determinant obtained by deleting its ith row ith means in this case second row and gth column this column in which so now what we will get is after deleting all this so what we are left with 1 2 7 8 okay so, so to find out the, this determinant we will uh, solve it 8 minus 14 so we are left with minus 6 now student this is about the minor now we will discuss about the cofactor there is a relation between minor and cofactor that we will discuss now Okay, so this is cofactor. So, cofactor of an element a i j denoted by a i j capital is defined by a i j is equals to minus 1 raised to power i plus j m i j okay where m i j is the minor of the element a i j okay and capital a i j is the cofactor okay let's discuss one example on this 
So students, I am taking the same example that we have discussed in case of minor. So now we will find out a 2 3 let's say 2 th row and 3rd column. Okay, in this case the formula will be i plus j mij. So we have already find out the mij value. Now we will multiply only this by 2 plus 3 into mij was 6 minus 6 okay so this is minus 1 into minus 6 now we were getting the cofactor as plus 6 so student this is about the cofactors okay and in the next lecture student we will discuss some good examples on minors and cofactors okay so stay tuned for that thanks a lot happy learning students